but how much you want to bet Destiny, Mr. Fun Party Guy, thought that our French friend was saying Jews, and he's already to be offended. No, no. <laughs> Do you want to drink this? <laughs> okay. yeah, I have. A lot of other people have too. This is, this guy sounds like a, like, reaction channel. I don't care about this. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's happening, everybody? I'm Tommy C, and this is Shot to the Point News Short. It's a well-known fact that all YouTubers and Twitch streamers love their fans. They love them so much that they feel the need often to express their gratitude for them, for if it not be for them, they wouldn't have any fans at all. FaZe Tifu took this to the next level when he expressed love for his fans. And then maybe if I see you in person, I'll give you a nice kiss right on the lips if you're above the age of 15. Or 18. Fuck, dude. Yeah! If you're above the age of 15. 18. Fuck, dude. Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? If you're above the age of 15. 18. Fuck, dude. I'm Chris Hansen. Dude, god damn it. No, what the fuck? Why did I say 15? Bro, that would look weird. Bro, why did I mess up words there? Oh, dude, now I'm a fucking pedophile. I wouldn't say that, but maybe it's time to stay off a little B's Twitter feed. Ha! Ah! Thought you got me. I'm a respected journalist. I have to follow him. I do it so you don't have to. Shit, dude. 18. 18. You must be the legal age. And being the great journalist that I am, I think I got to the bottom of this. The most disturbing thing about this whole video is the 1970s porn music. And then maybe if I see you in person. What the fuck is that? Things are really heating up with the whole ninja controversy. It now seems like it's a three-way battle between Kavos, Ninja, and of course his former friend, Keemstar. Well, it's just sad to see. The best Kavos, in my opinion, was the Kavos that went after the other commentators. I don't know if you'll ever go back to that, but if you do, you'll have my support again. Hey man, like you said, you've known me for four years. It's a shame that you uh, judge your friends just over their content. And you can't, you know, DM me like a man, talk to me. You know, I'm your friend, I've known you for four years, but maybe you just didn't consider me a friend, so who knows. Shortly after this, Keemstar posted a video on his Drama Alert channel, an interview with Ninja. Ninja defended himself against some of the hate that he's been getting online. My opinion is the interview didn't go all that well. In fact, Keem posted a poll shortly after that on Twitter to try to gauge whether Ninja is hated or not. On Shop of the Point today, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be going over the Keemstar Ninja interview. There's lots of laughs, tons of inconsistencies, and straight up entitlement. We'll see you there. So that's it. That's our first Shot from the Point news short. Look for these to be anywhere between one and three minutes, and then a weekend wrap-up covering the stories of the week. That's what we're going for now. I'm interested in what you think about it. We might only do one, two stories tops. And to let you know, we probably will be streaming Shop on the Point on this channel much less. It looks like we're going to move all the streaming back to Tommy C's SFTP. Again, to make this thing simple, one to three minute videos on shorter stories during the week. And of course, on the weekend, we'll have our seven to 14 minute video weekend wrap up. We're going to try to actually just make this a video channel. Please bear with us through the transition. I'd like to hear your comments. I'd also like you to follow Shop of the Point News. And there it is, right there. So go to it. Have a good one. See you soon. <laughs>